Okay, I want to show you my wood stoves and how they're made. <coughs> this is the small uh, ammo can stove. And uh, this is my main stove for uh, the, uh, my, my big level. So, this is uh, completely out of stainless steel. This is an ammo can, as you can see. So, let's take a closer look at it. It's an ammo can, and in difference from uh, many other designs, I've used the lid as a bottom because the lid is a dual layer so it will keep the bottom a lot better so let's open it add a wing nut to secure the pieces together In the bottom I only removed the rubber gasket, nothing else is done. It's a simple uh, perforated uh, kind of plate in the bottom to let air come underneath uh, the fire. If you see here, I have a baffle plate. It's to uh, prevent a lot of flames going up through the pipe. So the flames will come here, burning, and they have to go around this plate and up in the the air warm air and smoke will go up and this has a dual function instead of having uh, the flame here or here or any if it's flames all over the heat have to rise will hit this uh, plate and have to go around and that creates a good cooking area because all the flames are going up like this and around the plate and up. So this area will be a really good cooking area and it is. You can also see uh, the burn marks on the, on the side panels. It's easy to see this. You can see that the heat have going, been going like this. You can also see it on the top. It obviously have been warmest in this area. If you see in the bottom uh, or at the top, this is the bottom of the of the can. You can see I've cut a square out of the original bottom, and then I pop a bit a three millimeter uh, steel plate on onto the uh, ammo can itself to have a, a smooth and, and solid top that will be good for cooking. And it's a pop bit and I use some uh, exhaust uh, sealant in between to make it tight. You see this? This is an uh, exhaust, exhaust pipe. Uh, uh, yeah, you can convert it to different sizes. Buy this; it's very cheap. Uh, yeah, not able to see it, but the bottom I cut a lot of slots and bend them out, so you got like a star. And I drill them and rivet them with stainless steel rivets. This is a two and a half inch to no, it's a two three quarter, two and a half, um, two and one quarter 
size. Doesn't matter how much. But the reason why I did uh, these different sizes is because I can use all kind of stuff as a pipe. This is the main pipe for this oven. And it fits over very well. You see it's now not a close fit. And this make makes it possible to remove move it a little bit. And you don't have to worry about the gap here. Because when you're heating up uh, the air and everything would be very warm and will rise up. And for uh, temporary use, this is good enough. Um, for longer use, uh, you can have some tar inside and it will, you know, will uh, run down, but uh, not for up to a week, it's no problem. So, so this is a simple pipe uh, to use. It's like this to be. I can use all kind of pipes. That's why. That's why I did it like that. I don't use any gaskets at all, anywhere, uh, because uh, the oven needs uh, the air it can get. The problem I um, discovered when I started making this uh, these stoves uh, is that. Um, I can't get enough air into it so I have one here air intake this is go beyond or below this this tray so it's like this so this is air going under the flames so I can regulate that and on the door I also have a lot of holes and I can regulate that by Turning this, close it fu fully, and open it half, just uh, how I like it. Very simple. And on the door itself, I have this is fully closed. I also have possible to put it on this other. It keeps keeps the door uh, with a gap, so you can get a lot of air in there during. Uh, uh, starting up the fire and when it goes I just close it and I using this put the tray in. just close it So, and you see these short legs, uh, I say the handle because it's very easy to carry. And you see these short legs, it's because this, uh, this oven is uh, adapted to the polish level. It has to be very close to the ground to not burn the, the tent itself. The tent goes like this, so it's very close to the oven. So if you rise the oven, it will not be good. So, to my main stove, this is made out of stainless steel plates, everything, so it's completely stainless steel. Let's start with the door and ventilation system. I have double, because it wasn't enough, I had this uh, on the first one, so I can close up our four big holes under here to the door and I can adjust it with this but it wasn't enough so I had to add this also and I have one ventilation going underneath the, the perforated tray in the bottom so by adjusting this and these two I can make it burn very, very good. And 
And this is very solid. When I'm putting up my uh, my tent, I use this in the top of my lava, not to burn the uh, nylon. So I stand on this oven when I'm putting it up. No problems at all. On the back side, I have two locks like that, and I can take the whole top off. And inside, I have all the pipes for uh, the full length of the lavu. It's about three and a half, four, four meters of pipe. Just co connect them with that. Have some spare screws and repair kit. Six, seven, eight, nine. I use eight or nine, and I have this tray in the bottom. It's very simple. Some pieces of junk, and in the bottom here. And that's it. Instead of a baffle plate, I have this short one. The main flames will be in the center of the box, and the flames have to go around this small plate. It's just to keep, um, just to keep a lot of the flames away from the pipe. I don't want to have a jet engine. Just want to have a stove. And the way I made this, you see this uh, uh, rounded nuts. I put a lid over like that. Lock it on the back side, and it's ready. This oven is made so I can uh, leave it in the forest or in the mountains or anywhere and find it next year and start using it. It's completely a stainless steel, nothing will rust, nothing will disappear. So it's uh, quite good. Also the pipes are really heavy, thick pipes and they are made, I used pieces of the same pipe, cut, a, cut out a slot and I got a friend uh, to TIG, TIG weld some spots around to keep it in there. And as you can see, they are flexible so they were very easy fit into the other pipe like that on the top as a jack I use this you can see how the uh, just bent some uh, aluminum pieces to fit around the pipe to keep the pipe in the center like that and I have this screw here just to lock it in place so this will not slide down this is what going through and uh, the opening in the top or uh, or on the polish level I used it through the armhole uh, I may also made this uh, spark arrestor it's the same uh, in, uh, uh, it's also a, what do you call it, a roof or top, so you won't get snow and rain down the pipe. And it's pretty effective. It stops uh, most of the sparks. And it's made to fit on the pipe, like that, on the top. There it is, finished up, ready to go. And it fits all the pipes I need to put up in my eight man lavu, big lavu. So, it's pretty heavy though. It's made to last, so it's nothing to carry a long way. I usually go by car or something when I have uh, this big lavu and, and this oven because uh, there are so much to carry. 
and this goes with it. So, hope you like uh, hope you like this dose. And if you have any questions, please ask, and I'll try to uh, try to answer as good as I can. So, take care now.